Hello, welcome to Rapid TV News Headlines for the week ending the 6th of November 2020. And the main news this week. Liberty Global hits video headwinds, Virgin Media extends its gigabit reach with the UK's largest ever switch on, and Community Fibre launches London's first 3 gigabit home broadband service. Kicking off a busy period for high-speed networks, Liberty Global's reported a challenging third quarter of the year. Its broadband gains were accompanied by losses in video subscribers in its key divisions, particularly Virgin Media in the UK. The European media giant said that Q3 business was modestly impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic. The company saw strong demand for high-speed connectivity products, adding 37,000 new customer relationships and over 70,000 broadband subscribers, its best quarterly result in over three years. However, enhanced video subs fell sharply year-on-year, year, especially at Virgin Media. In better news for the company, Virgin's moved closer to its target of bringing gigabit broadband to its entire UK network by the end of 2021. It's rolling out availability to nearly 3 million homes in London and across Northern Ireland. Virgin's Gig One service is said to offer connectivity up to 20 times faster than the UK's average broadband speed. Well, those interested in ultra-fast broadband in the London area have been given a further boost by Altnet Community Fibre. It's launching what it says is the capital's first 3 gigabit home broadband service. Commenting on the launch, Community Fibre CEO Graham Oxby said that the firm believes that multi-gigabit speed will be an essential need for homes and businesses, proving vital to the UK's global competitiveness in the post-Covid world. In other news this week, Disney Plus's Mandalorian Series 2 has got off to a strong start, according to two sets of research. Smart TV usage from Samba TV reports that the premiere of the new series was watched by 1.04 million households on the 30th of October, its first day on the direct-to-consumer service. This represents a 73% increase compared with the debut of Season 1. Backing up Samba TV's figures, streaming engine Real Goods said that the Star Wars-based drama had performed spectacularly well during the weekend of its second season launch, with a 5.7% opening weekend streaming share. A study from ABI Research has revealed the extent to which the COVID-19 pandemic is having different impacts on the media device market, showing it's already reduced flat panel TV sales. High cost and lack of content are set to delay 8K TV set adoptions, with ABI estimating only 1% of worldwide flat panel TV shipments in 2021 will be 8K TV sets. And finally, video experience firm TiVo's announced Deep Discovery, a new API-based metadata solution. With Deep Discovery, content can be enriched to a new level of detail with metadata such as moods, tones, themes, weighted keywords, age descriptors, and popularity scores. For more information on these stories and others, please go to the Rapid TV News website. Thanks for watching. See you again next time.